Ta-da! Look at that. I am really happy about this piece. It's got every feature I was aiming to make. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Building a Spanish Small Sword. And I dare to say that it will be the last episode, because today we will be making a final ingredient, a pommel. And besides making the pommel, we will be making some small adjustments, like putting a silver coated wire onto the handle and making the hilt a little bit better. I'm going to show you a quick uh, how to make an extra fast pummel. You need a chunk of steel that is already marked and cut. You need to hold it in your hands, shake it, think of a magic formula that I'm not going to tell you. And when the formula is done, I will have to toss it in the air and it will magically transform in the air to a finished pummel. Take a look at that. And let's see if it has magically transformed in the air into a finished pommel. And it worked! Look at that! It's done and it's already threaded so we can put it on the small sword. How cool is that? These parts are already done, and I mean done, done, so nothing more to do with them. We can move on to making a handle a little bit shorter and hopefully pommel and the wire and we're done. Well, not everything in workshop goes the way you want and I had my spacer cut, I had it drilled and it decided to go away from me. You see, uh, in order to get some more fresh air I have the doors a little bit lifted like you can see over there and, and since the spacer was round it 
it got bumped off the belt grinder and ran away through those doors. Yes, through those doors, through that tiny hole. And I can find it. So I decided to make a new spacer and here it is. It, this time it's square because it's easier to do it from a sheet of steel. So uh, now I need to mark the shape of the handle so I can get it to the shape of the handle. On the other side I'm going to mark the shape of the pommel so we can make a smooth transition and hopefully this one won't run away since it's square. So if a square runs of me, then I'm in deep <clears throat> trouble. Check out how much the silver wire we need. I think it would be safe to say that we need around 15 centimeters of silver coated wire and since we have six groove, uh, 15, 15 times 6 is 90. So we need 90 centimeters of silver coated wire but that's only one wire and we need to twist it so 90 times 2 that's 180 centimeters so 1.8 meter of wire needs to be cleaned and twisted Look at that, I am really happy about this piece, it got every feature I was aiming to make. So I think it's high time we take it out of this workshop and take a proper look in the daylight. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is how our Spanish small sword presents itself. I'm sure that you are very interested in the tech data. The whole weapon weights around uh, 730 grams, so it is not a very light weapon. I know that fencers among you are thinking, boy, that weights a lot. And I agree, but you have to remember that this is a transition weapon from a rapier. So. Uh, it has a right to weight a little bit more than a standard 
small sword, especially the court small sword, that uh, used to weigh around uh, 500-600 grams. As for the point of balance, it is around 45 millimeters from the hilt. And given all those uh, technical data under the consideration, you can feel that if you're holding it like a cord small sword with the pommel ending in your palm, well, you can feel the weight. It's well balanced, but you can feel it. But since this is a weapon that came from a rapier, it is also fitted for cats. So if you will hold it like a rapier with fingers around the guard and you stand in the third position, boy, that is where this weapon is alive. Look, you can make a very tiny circles, you can make very correct parries with your uh, wrist and with your arm and you can even make a proper cut. So, uh, it is surprisingly well balanced, uh, for me surprisingly, since this is my first Spanish small sword. So, uh, the third position would be the way to fight with it. Uh, of course, you can also fight with the six, but then it is a lot slower because of the weight. I hope that you enjoyed the making of the Spanish small sword. If you did, you can support my work on the Patreon, or if that is not an option for you right now, you can subscribe and link the video. It will also help me a lot. That is all for today. I'll leave you with some more pictures of it and see you soon on the Marcel Armor channel on making another weapon.